everyone, welcome to another Excel chat walkthrough video. I'm your host, Kevin Kelly, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to use sum if combined with multiple criteria. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So as you can see here, I have my Excel file open along with the Excel chat article right alongside it. And at first, uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how the sum if function works if you're unfamiliar with it. So here we have a list of warehouses, the products in each warehouse, and then uh, the stocks for each uh, product in the warehouses. So here, I'm gonna say, okay, my criteria is slices and I wanna sum up all the stocks of the slices product. So the way that I'm gonna do that is by hitting equals sum if. Now the first thing is asking for the, the first thing it's gonna ask for is the range of my criteria. So I'm gonna look at products here. I'm gonna highlight this whole range. And then I'm hit, gonna hit comma. Now I'm gonna select my criteria which is slices. I can just cell reference that and I'll hit comma again. And now looking for the range for the sum. So what do we add up? And that is the stocks, enter, and there you have it. 3,500 is how many stocks of slices there are. So if we look over here, there's the more complicated situation, which is the multiple criteria. That's what this video is about. So there's a couple different scenarios you can do here, but the main thing to remember when you're doing sum if with multiple criteria is that it's simply like you're adding multiple sum ifs together. So I'll scroll down here so you can take a look at the formula in advanced. And as you can see, the syntax for sum if with multiple criteria is simply a sum if plus a sum if. So for example, let's do slices and chunks. So equals sum if, uh, comma, oops, uh, parentheses, comma. Now it's asking for, it's asking for the range first, which we will select here. Now asking for the criteria. So instead of doing slices, comma, chunks, remember we just have to do one at a time because we're adding multiple formulas together. So I'm gonna hit comma again, go to stocks, and then close parentheses plus another sum if. And now this time we're gonna do the same range. It's pretty much gonna look exactly the same other than your criteria. So different criteria, stocks range again, close parentheses and enter. As you can see, we have 6,800, which if you look over here at the Excel chat article is correct. Uh, that is the criteria with slices and chunks. Add them all together, you get 6,800. And you can do the rest of these on your own. Um, it's the same concept. You just add multiple sum if formulas. So if I wanted to do, let's say, criteria A and criteria B, uh, then instead of highlighting product for my range, I'm going to look at uh, warehouse instead. Uh, but your stocks range is always going to be the, is always going to be the last one because that's the one that you're adding together. That's the one that you want to sum essentially. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.